Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build cheap retracts for your quad. And I have mine right here all set up. And these are my retracts. You guys can see that. So when I'm aiming the GoPro all the way down, I'm not getting them in on the side. The, go the gimbal's unplugged, but you guys uh, understand what I mean by that. That way you don't have any of them in the frame. You just lift them out of the way, and it flies beautiful just like this. And it's cheap, and I'm going to show you guys how to make them. Okay, guys, the first thing you want to get is some retracts from Hobby King. And these ones are available in... Uh, these are from the China warehouse, and they have a smaller version of this available on the U.S. warehouse. But these are the motor and the retract is one piece. Um, it's self-contained, and it has a five millimeter hole for uh, retract gear, five millimeter wire. Now you guys can use wire all the way down. I personally don't. Um, I'm using these carbon uh, tubes. This isn't carbon fiber. This is just the cheaper carbon stuff. And on mine, um, as you can see, I put. They're a little taller ones on there, but I sort of wanted to show you guys how to do it. it would be maybe for a Phantom. And they have all different kinds of gear. This, this uh, one, I'll put the link down below. This will hold four pounds a piece, so it's plenty for my, uh, for my quadcopter. And they also make a smaller one, I'll show you. And this is also self-contained, and it's a smaller one. I think this is for a three millimeter wire. So you have your uh, you have options. If you're going to do put, put uh, retracts on a Phantom, you definitely want to go with the smaller one. I'll also post a link, and these are available in the U.S. warehouse. They're like eight bucks a piece, ten bucks a piece. Uh, they're not bad at all. And um, I'll show you guys how I put uh, my my retracts on mine. So we'll start out. Um, First thing I did, guys, is we have about these are this is a six millimeter opening in this in this tube, and what it is is it's just the bottom struts off this cheap um, quad landing gear here. So you guys see these on eBay. So it's the bottom struts. I think they're uh, six millimeter inside, eight eight millimeter tubes on the outside that go through the bottom. And I, I used one. I'm going to cut them in half for the. Uh, for the vertical struts and what I want to do is the first thing I want to do is get the we're gonna get the five millimeter now th these aren't perfectly straight I've had them used and abused a little bit but uh, it's okay as long as they're straight overall because what it's gonna do is it's gonna take up some of the width in the tube and it fits in there nice and tight we're gonna actually hot glue that in so I'm gonna put it in the retract okay and we're gonna get the right screw that we need for it. And honestly, guys, you don't need much for this. It's pretty cheap to do. And uh, it's a pretty good setup. It holds uh, it holds mine pretty well, and I, I fly with some heavy batteries, so. And we're gonna move the camera here. Okay. So the first thing I'm doing is here is and I'm putting this uh, I'm putting this wire in. And make sure the wire is seated all the way in, okay? Otherwise that screw won't grab it and you could lose a, a gear in flight. And believe me, I've done it. So we're going to make sure that's all the way down and tight. And it's all metal. That, that, piece, that piece in there is metal, so you can, you can reefer it on it. You won't strip it out, okay? So we know that's in there tight. Now we're going to take some hot glue and we're going to put some hot glue in the tube. Okay, and you can feel the tube heat up where your fingers are so you know you're in the right spot. And we're simply going to jam the tube onto the metal. So we have our gear already extended and we're going to repeat the process with this one. Okay, we got that second one in, and we're going to put some hot glue in the tube. And you want to get it down three or four inches as long as your metal is, and you'll feel your fingers heating up. You'll know it's in there. And we're going to simply slide it on. 
perfect. Now, so we have our struts mounted to our retracts. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to glue these. These are 90 degree tips. They also come with different uh, landing gear, uh, cheap landing gear for quads. And now when you glue these on, you want you want them facing along with the motor, so when they go down, the piece will be perpendicular to the floor. Okay, so figure you're looking at your quad from the front. When it goes down, it will look like mine. I'll show you real quick. And then you can see how mine is there. So you want this piece, okay, it's going to come down like this at this angle. This will be up and then retracted it will be down or vice versa. So we're going to do that with this one. Alright, very cool. Now all we have to do is get the bottom struts, which I don't have any more of that carbon stuff, so um, but you guys get the idea it's going to look just like this and it pretty much just snaps in I glue it so it doesn't slide and then I add some foam on the ends and believe it or not even though it, it looks like it shakes a little it's really sturdy guys these are really good retracts now another thing I wanted to show you is mounting it so you're just going to need a Y adapter and this is exactly how I mounted mine I used two pieces of flat carbon and I ran it to the frame and you can see there's four four nuts under there and it runs straight out a couple inches three inches so make a five inch piece of carbon and then the retract goes to it and what I did was because I wanted the gear wide I didn't want it to be perpendicular in the down position I spaced it on the outside of the mount with some washers so that way it doesn't come down now these are 90 degree retracts if you guys can get 80 or 75 degree retracts it might even be a little easier for you, then you can you can mount them flat to this carbon. So, uh, just a quick tip on how to make cheap, cheap retracts for your uh, quad or hexacopter. Um, like I said, these are the bigger ones that holds four pounds a piece. These are pretty cheap. If you're going to go with a Phantom, to show you guys the size difference, get the smaller ones, three millimeter wire, and you can just use the wire straight down and then bend it, or however you guys want to do it. But uh, I'll, put, I'll paste the links below and it's just a cheap way to make uh, cool retracts for your quad. You'll just set it up on a spare channel with a Y connector to, in between them both. Make sure they're both in the same position when you, when you put them on the quad. And uh, that's about it. If you guys have any questions on this or any other video, uh, just let me know. Please subscribe and uh, hit a thumbs up if you like it. Thanks.